This week, um, the main focus was storyboarding and preparation. Um, so, beginning of the week, we were going to go about putting together the video. Um, we also had two people at the very beginning of the week speak to us about climate change, fire ecology, and forest simulation. That was the morning. In the afternoon, we took them out to a couple of the burn sites that we visited uh, last week. And uh, we got their take on what ha was happening in there and like, you know, uh, what they thought could uh, be the outcome of it. We went out uh, to the burn sites and uh, sh showed them around, almost gave them a bit of a tour. And uh, we had them tell us what they could see from the burn sites. So like what kind of uh, plants were growing bad, what uh, they would recommend for the burn sites, uh, how often you should continue burning those sites to get the results that MT would want. Then uh, we came up with the questions that we would ask people in the interviews, and uh, we got that detailed down and also started planning uh, stuff out. We, we spent the whole morning doing that. Uh, we put it onto a Google Doc and then sent it to the drive so that we would all have it. We also made our own practice videos in the VR style. So that was really important because we were able to see what worked and what didn't work and just some good techniques. So with the 360 cam Rico camera, uh, we went out and uh, did a little bit of location scouting and uh, figured out where we would be a good spot to film Curtis talking about disc golf, which is what uh, we did. We did that, but um, we only planned it out in the, uh, in the afternoon because it started to rain. So um, then the next day we uh, just went at it in the morning and then we got it filmed and then we edited it all in the afternoon. Which was uh, a real quest on that part because uh, the Rico stuff did not come in stitched. So it was like two separate uh, circles of footage. And uh, we had to learn how to import it into Final Cut Pro and uh, how to start editing it. One thing that I learned with that was that my computer could not even render the video to be exported to YouTube. So I think I'm going to have to change computers. And then just uploaded them to YouTube and uh, had a couple people try them out. And then we also showed that to other people and see what they liked and what they didn't like um, to give us a better idea of what we should be doing for the final product. And then we uh, decided to uh, try to figure out how we wanted to storyboard some of the VR stuff. Because you can't do it like traditional storyboarding where you have a frame and then you can only see like what's in the frame because that's what, how it's presented in film. Whereas in 360 VR, you actually have the option to look everywhere around you. So it's not a focus point. You have the opportunity to look at everything. With filming in 360, Nick came up with this brilliant uh, storyboard where it's like a, a circle, and then you have like the ax axes, and then like the z axis going up, and you can just like set up what you want on there, which is really interesting. We spent some time just doing some storyboarding, working out how we were going to go about putting together the video. So after that, we went to the logging museum to see if they had any um, information about past historical uh, burn management and all that, fire managing tactics. Um, but unfortunately, we came up short on that. But uh, we did get to uh, learn more about uh, old managing habits and like how they would do it. Plus, it was fun to take Curtis and Casey there since they haven't been there before. Yeah, so that was really cool. On the last day, we uh, interviewed Ron Waka and uh, we got his take on uh, fire management and what MTE does. And so we got a lot of information that day and uh, we're looking to uh, interview him next week.